Hello everyone, Captain Rafi here. Today, like I have promised, we have this thing TPMS G1. So we're gonna show you how it's how it's look application. Uh, on this video, on the next video, we're gonna show you how it's how it works. So firstly you must press uh, fully charge this device, you must press long press to on and then you open your, your think diac or you open your think tool those devices which is supported with this one so we press now we go down there we have think diac plus we press tpms so now it's connected to the this device so we're going to show you what cards we have we have european and south america so we go to europe there is car makes in europe yeah that's the last one we go to the next one, South America. Yeah, that is that. So we go to Europe. I have European Jeep version. Signature, it's not European. <laughs> we go to Grand Cherokee 2005, and then we have this main screen. Like you see, there is also change here directly. So, for change uh, tire side, you can press here. Or you can press here. And then you can activate your sensor by pressing OK. We go to the next. We have programming function. Waiting for programming like you see directly. You can also change which tile you want to program. Or by pressing here. <coughs> Sorry. And like you see down there, we have automat, we have manual and replication. So auto, we can go to auto, then manually, when you press manually, you can re uh, type your ID here. We gonna to skip that. Next movie gonna be about this one and then replication so when you press replication you must read your old sensor and clone to the new sensor like we have we have get this new sensor universal sensor from tinker so maybe we're gonna try also next time or some someday to replicate one of those sensors. Then we have learning function, so we can learn everything. Like you see, there is changes also here. Please press up and down to switch tire position and press OK to activate. Yes, there is changes, and also it's work like that one. Then. Then we have whole procedure here, how we to do this process. Uh, every car make can have little bit differences here, and then you can have or you have possibility to do OBD relearning re also. Then we have last one function here, there is diagnose. 
So you must connect your uh, Think Jack or Think Tool or some from Tinker devices which cooperate with that one to connect to OBD and then you press OK. We don't have a connection with OBD, we are at home. Then you have possibility read echo ID and sensor learning. So I think so it's that's it for today. It's little short video today, little presentation. So I think next time gonna be how to program a sensor on my Jeep and how it works. So I must look myself how it works. So gonna be a little bit easier and quicker to do next video. So thanks for today like subscribe and if you want to support me i have opened patreon so down there on the link you're gonna see my oh, you can click on my link patreon link and support me a little bit so thanks for today until next time see you